<laughs> don't knock it with a fucking mic. Oh, again. yeah, that was dangerous. Yeah, I don't have any tape on that. Ooh. That'd be great if you just fucking instead of fly. <laughs> it's falling apart. That you storm out. The fucking flame. The lamp went out. There's the black, who lit the black flame? A virgin. What? Oh, my God. Is that uh, is that Hocus Pocus or is that uh, uh, The Craft? Do you remember The Craft? Could be both. Yeah. Dude, I revisited that movie not it's too long sweet, ago. Dude. It's so good. It is good. Isn't that? Lazy Brothers, Stiff as a Boy. Waterboy's Girlfriend? Yes. No. Uh, it's not Vicky fucking Valentine? Yeah, Vicky Valentine. Oh, it is. is You're that right. The craft? You're She's right. The craft? Yeah, she is. Same person. I mean. Same person. They're both goths. They gotta be right. No, it's the same person. That's wild. Damn. That's another Nev Campbell one, isn't it? <laughs> no, Colonel Sanders, you're wrong. <laughs> what are you guys? Three, two, one. Calling all killers, this is the Kings of Kill podcast. My name is Zach. Oh, I'm Steven. Oh, yeah, welcome. <laughs> and together we are the Kings of Kill, bringing you the show dedicated to the love of all things horror. This week we got another rated hour request from our killer fans. Steven, will you be so kind and announce to the world what we're talking about today? Vin Diesel in Pitch Black. Steven's boyfriend, his hero, <laughs> Dom himself. Uh, Steven has mentioned Vin Diesel once per episode all season long? I don't know. I'm not keeping track. The fans are, and this is why we got requested Pitch Black. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for requesting this video. If you would like to request an episode, easy. Head on over to kingsofkill.com. Absolutely free. Super easy. While you're there, do a little shop and check out some merch, and you can support the show for as little as 99 cents a month. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, let's share some scares. Let's count some kills. Let's count them. Steven, do you want to say hi? We have a guest in house. We have a guest. Say hi, guest. <laughs> <Just, Huh. laughs> he just points to himself. <laughs> Brian is in the house. Massa Visual Media, our video sponsor. Thank you so much for hooking us up with some sweet lighting. Yeah. A little set design. There you go. Now we hear you. Thanks, buddy. Sorry Glad about that. Okay. Hi, guys. It's okay. It happens. But, um, yeah. So, Pitch Black. Pitch huh? Black, Vin Diesel. Vinny D. Vinny D. Do you think if Vin Diesel had an orange juice, it would be called Vinny D? Vinny D Delight. Hmm. That yeah. sounds like a dancing trick. You know his name is Richard B. Riddick. Riddick. In the movie, I yes. never noticed that. Yes. That's crazy. Who announces themselves with a, an initial as their middle name? I don't know. Like, I think his friends call them Big Dick Rick, Riddick. <laughs> Big Dick Rick? I don't know. I think you would, fanboy. Oh, for sure. Okay. Okay, so is Vin Diesel your favorite human being in, in the world? No. Don't even like the guy. <laughs> Why are you obsessed <laughs> with him? So I learned some really cool things. I'm kind of impressed. So so Vin Diesel made a bunch of short films, so much to the point where I got Steven Spielberg's attention, which is what landed him his little cameo in Saving Private Ryan. Really? Mm -hmm. That's what happened? Seems probably like his tenacity. And then to do this, he fought tooth and nail to, to make sure this film was came to fruition um, and refused, lost like 20 mil in like a Fast Saga contract to make sure the awful sequels happened. Yeah, the brilliant sequels happened because of this movie. It's weird. Brilliant? Yeah, you said brilliant. I said... I was just playing off what you said. Awful. No, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Squinted. Me. I didn't hear any of that. Pitch Black, rated hockey about 2,000, hour, 49-minute running time, starring Vinny D, Vin Delight. D Delight, or Big Dick Rick is Yeah, that's, Stephen that's what we'll go with here. <laughs> starring Radha Mitchell, Cole Hauser, who plays a great asshole in this, 
Keith David. Is that Benny? The legend. Benny, Benny from, sorry. Cole Hauser plays William Johns. Yeah, is that Benny from Days and Confused? Is it? Let's look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Keith David, absolute legend. Killer voice. Louis Fitzgerald, Claudia Black, Rihanna Griffith, John Moore. It's definitely Benny. I'm glad. You feel better now? It's definitely Benny. Uh, yes. Oh, God damn it. You're right. There you go. Look, I didn't even notice that. You've had this laptop in front of you for eight hours. Wait, which and guy is he? finally are using it. He is. He's that guy. <laughs> yeah, but who's Benny in the movie? It's Benny. Oh, in Days and Confused? No, 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 no. I know Days and Confused, but in Pitch Black. Which one's he? He's like the fake bounty hunter motherfucker. The guy hooked up on opioids or whatever he's on. Painkillers. Oh. Yeah, he's the one that dies. Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> you haven't seen this. 2000. Directed by David Twohey. Who? David Twohey. Who? Writer of The Fugitive. G.I. Oh, Jane. Shit. And, you're going to love this one, Waterworld. He wrote Waterworld? He wrote fucking Waterworld. What is he doing with Pitch Black? <laughs> he, with G.I. Jane? Yeah, and fucking he's a fugitive. He got sick of... Bald people. He got Bald si- person in every movie <laughs> that he did. G.I. Jane. Jane's Waterworld. You got fucking the villain. What if... What to sell the script, it says she has to be bald. She has to be bald. If she's not bald, shave her head. Dude, did me more. Looks hot bald. For sure. It's a good-ass movie. I'm putting it on. Right now. Oh, my God. G.I. Jane, which it's like the rain's pouring down. Push-ups and stuff. When she's Crazy. like, oh, my God. What, what does she say to him? Like, 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 I don't know. When she tells she the like, commanding officer, you. like, to suck her dick. Oh, oh God yeah, damn yeah. it. I love that. That was a big scene. thing, too. That was, her, like, her all dick. over the like, place. <laughs> it was all over the place. It's not her dick. I mean, it was like a guys. Have you seen Demi Moore's dick? It was a quoted thing for like. It was an epic line. Yeah, it was. A, it was like one of those. He wrote that. Yeah, he wrote that line. Then wrote Dom Toretto a piece. In this perfect movie. <laughs> <laughs> so here's so he got sick of of when he wrote what he thought would be a great script. He'd give it to a director, and they would like flip things to make it work for their vision. That always offended him because he's like, I took time to write this, and then you adapted it without consulting me. That frustrated Stephen him. King style. So, yeah. So, Jim and Ken Wheat wrote a story about Riddick, right? Mm-hmm. Which David Twopey adapted for the movie. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of shit for this. Like, there's the sequels, there's comics, there's a game that's actually one of the best, like... Games to film or film the games. There's not a lot. There's a lot there of horrible. Really isn't. There's a lot Usually of horrible. Usually it doesn't things. work. The rush to just yeah. shit. No, it's a. Uh, there is there, there's a lot of lore to this, but the sequels, man, just. Ugh. I think the third one wasn't as bad. Still bad. The second one was definitely yeah. dog shit. Well, I mean, they were just completely different than Pitch Black. Well, the third one was more like Pitch Black. Was it? True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind. My bad. The second one, no. It was cool that Ka- Carl Urban was in it, though. He's in second and third. Maybe he'll be in the fourth. I don't know if he dies in third. Is there going to be a fourth one? Yeah. It was in the making and, like, right after the third movie. I hope they do it Logan style, just make it hella dark. That'd be tight. Um, but it's a prequel, so. Because it's the season. It's what's hot right now. Requel. Yeah. It's cool. You're He's dumbass. gonna probably do it after Fast Ten. The last sadly, the last Fast and Furious. Thank God it's gonna be over. I hope they're spinoffs. <laughs> Vin's kids. Will the spinoffs have spinning wheels? Is that the thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, I, used, dude, just I used to have a pair of sneakers, Data Supremes, and they had like the pump in it, but the pump would spin would Are you spin fucking the wheels. Kidding me? <laughs> Why are you wearing those now? <laughs> The new intro song is just going to have you stomp it's with just, a giant it's just foot. Me, and it just, it's just me pumping. Yeah. <laughs> no, never mind. Those pumpers, man. Oh, man. Uh, 
<laughs> came out February 18, 2000, filmed <laughs> in Australia. They got the same uh, cinematographer who did Mad Max. Right. Shot on almost the lo- same location on yeah. Australia. But it was actually too hot to do it in the summertime, so I actually filmed it in winter. And well, so to make, moved. to make everyone look sweaty, they were missing them. So everyone was freezing to death the Dude, entire shoot. That. I would have yeah. quit. Dude, for sure. Winter in the desert being missed. He's misted. like, no, I filmed GI Jane. Six, Everyone's tough. 16 hour work days, six days a week for three months. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, quit. You think they had the GI Jane quit bell, like just on set? You could just ring it at any time? Yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot. That was such a memorable scene. Yeah. Uh, had a budget of about 23 mil, uh, went to gross worldwide about 53, which means it was barely success. It doubled up, you know, made some change. I have a soft spot for sci-fi and horror. I really do. I, this I, is a good blend of it. Too. It is a good blend. And like the special effects are dated as fuck. Yeah. They're not quite event horizon. But it's 2000. But what do you, like what that are you takes, do? that takes a K event horizon is probably like the best mashup of horror and sci-fi. Not including Alien or something. I'm saying like this era because this was this, 2000. This time frame, yeah. Yeah, but this pretty much goes up there too. Because fuck, I don't know. But I don't know the fucking lighting. Whoever did the lighting, Jesus Christ, is blind each other. That lighting is. First off, I know who did our lighting. Massive visual media in the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. He's in this house. He is in my house. Yes, he is. I'm hiding in when the we're walls. we're talking about shoe pumping. With the ringer. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go back like I can't wait for two that. minutes. It's going to age We're talking great. about pumping shoes. This yeah. is why I was laughing so yeah. hard. Let's cut to the laptop. Unmute it. Yes, King. Fuck. <laughs> why? This is what I was laughing at. Oh, my God. I forgot What's about this. This is why you didn't say shit for 18 minutes because you're looking up I was Austin trying to Bowers. figure this out. <laughs> Gets me every Can time. Can you imagine the shot of powder? Someone was just. I wonder how many takes that. Like, I'm sure the crew just went nuts. And was like, like, let's do it he's again. like, let's do it. Let's yeah, do it let's do it again. Do it he's again. super mad. Messed up his hair and shit. Let's get makeup in here. Anyways. Now, makeup would be pissed. They got to clean up powder every oh, fucking yeah. 30 seconds. Probably quit. Maybe. Who knows? This is the best review of Pitch Black. <laughs> Anyways, there's yeah. a lot of black darkness in this movie. It's crazy, but you know what? Half the shit doesn't happen for like 55 minutes. Long, long build. Holy crap! Build. I forgot how long this took. It's been a long time since I revisited this that movie. one scene where. So, okay, so the the premise is Riddick is this escape convict. This bounty hunter has captured him on Deadly a only to on humans. a public cargo ship. Did they find him? Is he a hitchhiker? Like they were not escorts. The the Williams guy caught him. Fuck he's a him. fake bounty hunter. He's he, no, he's a bounty hunter, but he's he he acts like he's a cop. He's not a fucking cop. Boba Fettered him. Um, Did you just verb out Boba Fett? Boba Fettered it. <laughs> you added a lot of eds <laughs> to that one. <laughs> no, um, that didn't work. It didn't. It failed. Yeah, That's but like then why was one. he tied to? What what kind of crew are they? They just a transport ship, it's right? Just, you got religion. It's just, you got the priest and the boy. It doesn't make sense whether they're on the same ship, but I'm telling you, Williams caught him as a bounty hunter and is transporting him on the ship. It's bullshit. It's like the side mission. They're just like doing their thing, and they're like, you know what? This guy has a bounty on his head. Let's nab him. It's Come not on, Benny. Everyone. It's just Williams that did it. Fuck Williams. Why are you not comprehending? This I get it. Ass? I get it. Do you need to pump your shoes? I need to pump up. I'm just thinking of the fucking workout SNL. twins from SNL. Yeah. Pump <laughs> you up. No, um, it's just weird. I don't know. It's just weird to me. Just a weird gang of people. This isn't the breakfast club. It doesn't club. make sense. This is just, it doesn't make any sense. How many sense. people die, too? Because, like, they crash landing at the beginning. And, like, how many people are they, like... It says 12... But like so many are off screen, and then some people aren't even named. Also, like the henchmen. This is a, a rocket ship crash landing from a meteor strike, and their landing it looks the same as I'm driving to work at 35 miles an hour. What is going on? I don't understand. Yeah, that was weird. And 
anyway. I don't know. It's bright as Well, everything's it, measured in the metric system. So, like, maybe, like, however fast they're going is divided by, like, 10. So, it's really, like, walking speed. I don't think the metric Math. system is miles an hour divided by 10. Could be. No. I don't know how shit works. Guys, I, got, I found the... <laughs> the fucking wall is ringing. God damn it. In my house, there's a landline hardwired with a ringer into the wall. I don't know why. So if you hear this, you're on line one. <laughs> that's so weird. It's terrible. I hate it. I hate it. I like. Is this this is before? No, this is after Fast and Furious for sure. But this is like after peak, the first one, before the second. Dom. Peak Dom. Peak Vin Diesel. This is when he was like. I'm not going to say go downhill after this movie because he went fast furious. I mean, but too fast. You had like four brothers. You had him die and saving private Ryan's. He's a good brother. And then like iron giant. Yeah. He landed that before this role. Yeah. He landed iron giant because of boiler room. Boiler Room was, was had potential. I don't remember shit about that. movie. I just remember the cover so much. Dude. I love how, how Vinny delight. Uh, narrates this just like Sly Stallone narrates all of his stuff. He's just like, yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna talk real slow and kind of gravelly. We crashed. It hurt. This movie isn't gonna start for another 43 minutes. <laughs> oh, dude. When okay, so crash landing spaceship. Right. A lot of people die. We don't see, but they're dead. We should be mournful. It happens. Um, but we're not. Vin Diesel escaped because, like, the beam broke and he dislocates his shoulders through. Did you know he dislocated his shoulders for that scene? I believe it because he's really strong and a really cool guy. <laughs> You're in love. You're in love with this man. He was man. in Triple X. He tried to ridiculous. save somebody by not smoking. He's like, oh, smoking will kill you in Triple X. And then he shoots an RPG and it's heat seeking and it fucking blows him up. So cool. He learned how to shoot that rocket I just imagine that when you're at home, you're just wearing no shirt but a giant mink coat. <laughs> Listen to Romstein. I'd laugh my ass off if you were just bald underneath there. <laughs> it's, just a, it's, it's all shined up. You're just, you're just a shade. I'm going to be Vin Diesel for Halloween for sure. Maybe I'll just dress up. I'm going to buy you Fuck, a chain I should have dressed says, up as Vin Diesel for this episode. Oh, um, you come probably in the just bald look like dumbass pit bull. You come in the bald cap with like with just a, <laughs> a white beater on. Yeah, I'll just look like pit bull, dude. Every interview I've ever seen Vin Diesel on, he's always hitting on like whoever's. If a female's interviewing him, he's always macking on her hard, and she's always very uncomfortable. Did you see the one where he's like doing dungeons and talking about Dungeons and Dragons, and even then he's kind of hitting on her? I mean, what are you gonna do? Roll the dice. You gotta roll the dice. You gotta roll the dice. D and D. He's playing D and D during this movie. No, it was Chronicles of Riddick, between shots or sets, scenes. Fuck off! <laughs> Why are you uh, mad at me for stroking out? <laughs> he he was actually playing D and D with like Judy Dench and shit, and Carl Urban. It's pretty cool D and D. You gotta have friends to play that though. So, oh, it got sad. Yeah, well, I'll be your friend. I like how this movie looks like. <laughs> Straight up rejected. <laughs> this movie looks like Del Toro did it with James Cameron. It has a vibe. Yeah. You know what doesn't make any sense? Okay, so Riddick. John Carpenter watched them. I don't know. I'm not going to finish that. So Riddick has <laughs> his eyes shine so he can see in the dark. His eyes shine. <laughs> he got the new balls in his head. He had them polished. That's so weird. That's the story. Later in the sequels, he said, no, it's, they think it's like, it's bullshit. It's, it's genetic. Lie. It's just like he's this alpha male of some furious race or something. We'll see in the prequel. Anyway, um, but like they show the visual of what he sees during the day and it's just blurry and purple. It's and worse. And then what he sees at night is just blurry and black. <laughs> I'm like, what? It's horrible that? vision. Like that sucks. I'm sorry, Vin, but it's the worst I know you're idea. Watching. That Dude, sucks. that scene when, he, when he grabs Kabu tops though and like shines his own oh, vision yeah. back at him. Why wouldn't he see himself? Why is the vision shine go through his head? What magic? It's like 
It's right. Whoa! It's like one of those like toy Whoa. kaleidoscopes. <laughs> it doesn't go all the way through. That's fucking wild. Yeah. What do you think of the monsters? The the bio raptors, the kabutops. I just don't understand why they're called bio raptors. How come some are three inches long and some are the size of a rhino? Who named them? Vin Diesel. <laughs> Vin Diesel, he's like, oh, yeah, I know these. He, he seems like he's been on that planet before. That's the weird thing. He hasn't. Vin Diesel might be an alien. Maybe. Say it again. We'll find out in the prequel. But. What if monsters? Elon Musk goes to Mars and he just finds a bunch of Vin Diesels just hanging out? That'd be really cool. <laughs> They're all shirtless. He should be in a Doom movie. Did Instead you, of The Rock. Did you see the Doom movie? Yeah. Not only the one with The Rock, but there's a new one. Like, oh, it's horrible. Oh, man. Uh, Annihilation how is, on how Netflix. How is that even a Doom movie? It's pretty bad. No, it's it's like they really tried. Like Raccoon City, the new Resident Evil. I haven't seen it yet. Isn't terrible. I've heard okay things. They do. I think they do too much to like get the fans to love like, oh, yes, this is exactly like the games. Instead of, it's it's the fine line between fan service and sucking dick. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. But Doom, what was that? I don't understand. The Annihilation was just god awful. Is it and any, the Rock one I was think weird. it's a rule. It was very weird. I think it's a rule that any it was cool. I liked movie it. with the word Annihilation has to be terrible. Mortal Kombat, Doom. Not Annihilation. Damn. That's a good movie. All right. But sequels with wronged. Annihilation, yes. Yeah, yeah. You won that cockfight. What? Where are the cock champ? That was for Dom. Did you just dedicate something to a living person? I dedicate this to my family. If you show that fucking breaking bread picnic scene with everyone holding hands again for the 18th time. <laughs> I will. What the fuck? Is that Pawn Stars? What is that? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, that's family. It, what show is he not in? He's in everything. I don't know. He goes to France. Do you think that his name is Wine Diesel? Why would it be Wine Diesel? Because Vine in France means wine. His name isn't Vine. I mean, Vin. Fuck off. It's Vin. Wine. Jackass. Pitch black. <laughs> Earlier today, Pitch before the goddamn black. show started, I said, I recommend you a drink. And you said, did you say, did you, did you say Jaeger? I'm like, I said Jack. He's like, oh, they both start with J's. I'm like, they don't sound anything alike. There's no way you confuse Jack and Jaeger. It's true. I did, did say this. Do you have a speaking spell in your mind when words pop into your head? Yeah, confuses me. That's the other guy, though. How many of you are in there? <laughs> I don't know which one's sitting here. No. This movie's fun. Uh, it's it's definitely dated. You, you can expect the graphics to be shit. It's 2000. I don't know why. They're not terrible. No one communicated. Like, what happened, like, nowadays is that I'm still not a fan of CGI. Sometimes it's handy. You got to do it. I get it. But nowadays you can make pretty realistic CGI. Like, some, some movies will, like... Maybe second guess, like, is that real? Like, what's going on? That's pretty good. What I don't like is that for some reason in, like, the 90s, the 2000s, whatever console was out, they were using two generations Those ago graphics. graphics. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, like yeah, so, yeah, yeah. If, we're on, if we're on PS2, we're, we're using PS1 graphics for some fucking reason to do these things. Yeah. Except for if you're playing, like, Final Fantasy, because those cinematics were super cool at that time. Yeah, but it's just the cinematics, though. Yeah, They did look shit. good. Final Fantasy cinematics do Which look sold impressive. me on things. I'm like, that game looks good. And then you play it, and you're like, it's fucking blocks. 18 Golden hours. Eye. 18 hours. Let's talk about the best death. My favorite death. Which in one? This movie. Unmute it. Cut to the laptop. This is my favorite death. I should probably unmute this. Tell fucking me to unmute it. This thought, nerd, I fucking I hate Steven this guy. was whispering. Was me. This is what sold it for me in the trailer. That is a really good, yeah. That's all it is. You don't even get to see him die. Ooh, lightsabers. <laughs> all right, enough of that. 
Mute that again. I think they're using Jack or Jaeger to burn. <laughs> Jaeger. Um, but yeah, no, that, that scene was in the, the trailer. I was like, oh man, that movie looks hella cool. Mom, can I go? And she's like, no. But I did it anyways. <laughs> Rebel, you did this for mankind. I'm so proud of you. I saw Pitch Black. It's fun. It, it's a really fun movie. It's it's it reminds me of like that fun action sliced alone era. Where like it does. blockbuster, fun, you know? Nowadays there's no blockbusters. It's just four hour epic dramas. I don't want that. I want fun, stupid popcorn movies. There's too much shit. Yes. I hate it. I agree. I mean, the newest Spider-Man was good, though. I I've heard, that. heard good things. It was I'm really, just not the biggest Spidey fan. It was so good. I'm not the biggest this Spidey fan. Uh, whatever that, Tom Holland. I think he's doing okay. I think he's good, but he's not my favorite. Tobey Maguire, man. Tobey Maguire, yeah. I think he was... He's my Spider-Man. It might be because that was our first Spider-Man yeah, it's, live. it's the generational so I, thing. I think it's just nostalgia. Tobey Maguire's my Spider-Man, except the third one happened. I don't know what the fuck Raimi was doing, but... Whoa. Drop that ball. Hanging out with fucking Topher Grace. <sighs> yeah, Foreman really <laughs> fucked that one up. He did that. It was a good movie. Can you believe Goth that? Spider-Man. Red Foreman. Compare, like, Daddy Red Foreman in that 70s show with RoboCop, supervillain. Same person. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Almost. Almost the same person. No. The um... exact amount of hair. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> <laughs> never, never God went all bald on top and just kept it. That's that's the look. That's funny. I don't. Know. I used to have a uh, a professor who uh, no, it was it was his high school uh, drama teacher. So fucking funny. And um, if something wasn't funny, but he's trying to amuse you, and I'm not overdoing it now. Okay. He would literally, right there, he would literally do this. His thing's not funny, and he's trying to, like, show you, like, I'm with you. Just but his face. when something is actually fucking hilarious, like the whole crowd is busting up, he was a drama teacher, he would put his knee up on the desk. Not the chair, his knee on the desk. Not Captain Morgan, I'm telling you, split stance, and just look at you. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> I've been so pissed I just broke my fucking glasses. That would have been tight. I was waiting for that. I was waiting. Snap. I was waiting for that. <laughs> your, your fingers are crossed. Been a great blooper. <laughs> what? A blooper. A blooper? A bloopy. Um, yeah. That would have been good if you broke a glass. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. That would have been great. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> His glasses broke. I can't believe that. Just a small BB hole in his glasses. Cheap glasses. Christmas story. Well, how long ago? The glass was probably more glass than plastic back then. That's fucking weird. I don't know history much. That's Steven's review of a Christmas story. It's fucking weird, and I don't know <laughs> it's history fucking much. Weird. There's a leg for a lamp. Weird movie. What did you say? Show you hated, but it's great. Before we started. Oh, I don't remember. What was it? Steve gave a quick review out of nowhere and said, it's awful. I hate it. I already forgot. Four to five. <laughs> it's four out of five. Oh, it's Entourage. Entourage. How could you hate something? I know it's a good show, but I five. just don't like it. It's not for me, but I know it's good. Is that weird? Who's it for? Vin Diesel fans? No. It's, Mark it's Wahlberg a... fans. He wrote it. Or it's about his life. Like Marky something. Mark or The Happening Mark Wahlberg? Huh. It's probably back then when, like, Marky Mark. He had an entourage. Underwear. Probably. Underwear rapper. Yeah. Just after that. I'm pretty sure it's based on his life. I don't know. I've always seen, like, a season and then, like, bits and pieces in a Bob Saget episode. It's a good episode, actually. Bob Saget's in... He's in it for, like, an episode. He's Maybe in it for more. a few, yeah. A few episodes? Okay. I've never seen it. It's just sex in a city, but with dudes. So there's no sex at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, for no one except for... It. Adrian or whatever his name is. I would love to start a show just called Sex in the City, but with dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Two T's. That's the title. No one's having sex. <laughs> that no, that's an even better sitcom name. No one's having sex. Oh my god. No, but that rich bitch. 
Um, is he that do that? We just did the best kill, in my opinion, the coolest kill. I yeah, guess. it's it's nice. It's a good effect. That's the guy with like the wine and like the sprites. He's like a spirits. He's like a tradesman. Fuck. Yeah, he's. What ship is this? I don't want to have that conversation again. It's it's just a giant cargo train. I have no idea. It doesn't make any it's sense. It's like Serenity or Firefly. Uh, I guess they're all mercenaries. Anyways. That's a show I wish that came back. Dude, fuck Joss Whedon. I'm so pissed at him for ruining fucking DC. Yeah. I've but never thought great sci-fi. I director. never thought I would like vouch for Snyder of all people, but literally his fucking daughter dies. He has to take some time off, and the studio <laughs> sweeps the fucking rug out from under his fucking feet. Damn daughter. It causes Josh. No. No. R.I.P. I Heart regret broke, that. Dude. My bad. Fucking Josh. Fucking dickhead Whedon comes in, who I love from Buffy and Angel, comes in and just ruins the fucking movie. Do you know why? So that Was the, that the first Avengers? Is when he came in and... I think over. so, but fuck the Avengers. I'm talking about... What did he take over? Star Wars? No. What do you think I'm talking about when I say DC? Oh, you shit. You fucking jackass. Justice League. Yes. Oh. And thank God, give it up Damn, for I was so AT&T confused. bought... Did they buy DC or did they buy... I think so. Um, and uh, and they gave it back to the fans and they released the Snyder version. And it was fucking better. Right. Oh, it was so much better. It was a day and a half long. I still long. didn't like it, but it was... <laughs> I didn't. So much it better. wasn't my favorite either, but it made sense. Like I cared about it. Batman wasn't a fucking laughingstock joke. Like, yeah, there's a lot of Batman scenes. Like, yeah, good ones too. Yeah, it was a was like it, like four hours and a half. Dude, I'm still so upset that we're not going to get a Ben Affleck Batman. Yeah, he was good. That does suck. He was good. He was a great one. Yeah, until he said. Wait, your your mom's name is Martha that too. Make, that was terrible. That's writing. crazy. Terrible fucking. Writing. We should be friends. In the and comics, that's how the, the Super Friends was created. Right then and there in that church. Were they in a church? Maybe. I hate that movie. <laughs> <laughs> the The real story is so much better. The actual story is, uh, Superman becomes like the president's bitch boy. Basically, he's like the errand boy. And eventually, yeah, he, he doesn't stop a nuclear war and just does whatever the president's asking him to. And and then the president says, hey, go stop Batman. He's causing trouble. And Batman's like, let's go, motherfucker. <laughs> That's not even a fight. What do you mean it's not a fight? It's stupid. A Have you Superman read the... versus a bat? An alien. An alien versus An a human. alien god super being versus a human, and he gets his ass whipped it's by stupid. Daddy Batman. You're welcome. It's who I want to win, yeah, but like, I'll, I'll 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 loan you the comic. I've read it. Then how? What do you not understand about that epic I, comic? I just, it's just, a, it's fucking Superman. Again, so in the beginning Superman of Pitch Black, there's him. a cargo ship. <laughs> <laughs> Superman no, should just destroy Batman. Superman's a super bitch. He could look at him and look the Josh Harnett eyes, and then just kill him. <laughs> why, why do you say his name like that? And why is every impression of a movie star Clint Eastwood? What? The fuck is going on? Because... It's supposed to be an easy episode about fucking Vinny D. <laughs> and you're over here fighting about bats. Vin Diesel is so fucking cool, man. <laughs> you still want Vin Diesel to be Mr. Freeze? Yes. Do you think he's just... You think he's going to use that sexy voice? No, they'll auto-tune him to make it high-pitched. He's going to sound like fucking T-Pain. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, that'd be dope. But as Mr. Freeze, yeah. Him or like... What's that bad dude's name in uh, Kingsman? I don't know, he's bald. He's a cool guy. The, Kings, the Kingsman's kind of a fun series, actually. It is. I, I haven't seen the, the latest the, one yeah, with Rasputin, Kingsman. but... I think that's what it's called. Aggressive. Or the, the, the man. Is it M-A-N? <laughs> it's called The it's, Man. It's like they're... They're just taking out letters of the fucking title. It's like Kingsman with a title, and then it's like, you know what? Let's just do Kingsman, and then it's now it's Kingsman. It's just a big man. Prequels King. <laughs> the. It's just going to keep it up as man. It's man. <laughs> Can't believe I watched that. No, I haven't watched that one. Or the circle but, but one. But they're fun. They're fun. It's like a circle one, I they're think. fun. Second movie. The King Circle. 
the golden circle. No, I don't know what it is. But again, we you know, that's have a badass movie with the laptops church. right in front of us, and we're just refusing. Kingsman <laughs> franchise. Google starring Vin Diesel. Yeah, um, Vin Diesel is Mister Freeze for sure. All right, who's gonna be Joker? Me, I'm funny as fuck. No, um, let's bring Jim Carrey back. <laughs> Oh, man, I haven't heard that sound in a long time. That's because you're not I mean, very no, funny. Yeah, That's I, why. <laughs> I totally hear that all the time. All right, so it's Kingsman Secret Service, Golden Circle, Kingsman, and there's, a, there's another one? Oh, my God. Is there? Yeah, it's uh, the Blue Blood. Archer 2017? Where are you getting this information? Wait, what? That, that was a crossover? No, Archer's not a crossover from that. Dude, I love Archer. I'm reading words right now. This is Wikipedia. I'm reading words. There's an words. animated crossover short Stop. film. I'm We're reading stirring. words right now. Yeah. It's words. also Wikipedia. Yeah, so it's real. Anyways, I love Archer. It's fantastic. I love the art style. I love the comedy. It's hilarious. It's great, but I can only take... Is it John H. Benjamin that yeah. does the voice? I can only take his voice like for an hour. I kind of like it. it. It's soothing for an hour. What's interesting is when you hear like... Vocal actors, a lot of times, like, they sound really cool. And then you realize when they're in person, they're doing a voice. But that's his actual that's fucking his voice. voice. That's his yeah. voice, yeah. I like him because he does a lot of voiceover work. But I like him, like, because he does, what do you do, like, home movies and shit. But he was in Wet Hot American Summer, the TV show. That was great. You love that show. I fucking love that whole series. Two seasons in a movie. It's a good season. Or franchise. I wish there was more. It's kind of dumb. I think I just like everything David Wayne. What else has he done? You know, I just like David Wayne. <laughs> no, he did uh he did role models, children's hospital. Uh he works just a lot of Paul Rudd. Oh, he did the state. I didn't see that. What? MTV sketch show. Just like Mad TV. And uh, David Wayne. Are you a Mad TV or an SNL guy? Oh, I was MTV or Mad TV. <laughs> oh, I used I, to I was, love MTV. <laughs> I loved SNL growing up, and then I found Mad TV, and I thought that shit was super funny with Will Sasso. Will Sasso was funny. I love it when he plays this lumberjack. Yeah, it's always Bobby like, Lee, stuff and up. then there's I'm Michael not a Bobby McDonald. Lee fan. I'm not a Bobby Lee fan. What? I'm not a Bobby Lee fan. Well, Michael, was it Michael McDonald that played Stewart? I think that's right. He's funny. What about Kids in the Hall? Remember that? Kids in the Hall was funny. The and the Whitest Kids You show. Know. Whitest Kids You Know. Yeah, funny. yeah. Um, yeah, fuck it. Are you done searching? I'm <laughs> done searching. No, I spelled it wrong, and I'm just totally giving up. <laughs> you won. I'll be mistake. honest. I'm, I'm over it. Yeah, no. Um, you ever spell something so horribly wrong that, like, the, the predictive index text is like, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, autocorrect's like, I'm sorry. Just <laughs> quit. <laughs> You're clearly a fucking idiot. <laughs> you don't have service anymore. Sorry. <laughs> Your phone shuts off. It takes a bar down each misspelling. Goodbye. <laughs> Dude, how intense would that be? That I fucking have no phone. <laughs> I'm a horrible speller. <laughs> Your phone implodes. Do you know how many Vin Diesel misspellings are? <laughs> you just spelled Diesel Two. 18 different times? Yeah, I did. There's an L before the E, and then the I and the E are switched. Why is Diesel more expensive than gas when it's, like, less refined and easier? What, like? I don't know. Does it, doesn't it evaporate faster? I have no idea, doctor. We'll find out right after the break. Let's fucking myth bust this. Who'd you point? <laughs> We're just God spilling gas on the ground. Just <laughs> in this YouTube sensation. Let's watch this shit evaporate. <laughs> you know, it'd be the most expensive stunt ever. Gas is like eighty five dollars a gallon. Yeah, right fuck now. that, dude. I'm not <laughs> dealing with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm excited for a fourth movie. Actually, I'm going to watch the rest of this franchise, I think. I like the character of Riddick, but these sequels just don't work. No. So I, I just love any, like, badass antihero. Is he good? He's bad? Neither. 
Anti heroes are tight. They're in. They're hot. It's what's hot right now. I'm pretty sure. Deadpool. He's hot. Dude, Deadpool. I remember when when you were pissed about the casting, and I said, "No, it's gonna be." Perfect. I was so mad. It's gonna be perfect. My favorite I superhero was fucking ever. Fucking right. He nailed it. Do you remember the Deadpool video game? It was like PS2 or something. That was really fun. That was very fun. Yeah, a lot of guns, a lot of deaths. That was pretty cool. Speaking of guns, have you seen Guns Akimbo? Is that with Harry Potter, but instead of yes. wands, he has guns? Some, I guess that is a bad synopsis. I doubt on the back of the DVD cover that's the synopsis. Dumbledore, so <laughs> no. here's the synopsis. No. Harry Potter doesn't return for because they hold them back. Right? I'm just picturing the music as, <laughs> as for the trailer, <laughs> the Harry Potter music. Harry Potter gets held back a couple years because he didn't do shit. You're in school. a wizard, Harry. <laughs> He didn't do shit in school. Throughout those movies, did he do anything? He didn't pass any class, so they hold him back. He refuses to go back to Hogwarts. So Dumbledore's like, you know what, motherfucker? You're going back. And he tries to kidnap Harry Potter. Some shit goes south, so he has guns now because he doesn't have wands. Harry broke his wands because he doesn't want to go back. So Dumbledore tapes guns (laughs) to his hands. Why would a wizard tape anything? Damn. Just... Yeah, he he goes like this, and he's like, "Ah, oh, man, that, I got hands." Oh, is that the one? I got, I got tape on my hands now because he did this. He did tapiosa or whatever the spell is. I don't know it. Lem Guardian tapiosa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dumbledore's like, it's still dangerous. You are, Hogwarts. you are it's the fucking violent. You are the worst wizard ever. If if your wizarding skills is putting tape on someone's say, oh no, I've been taped. <laughs> well, fucking hormones, Hermione. Tapes. Yeah, hemorrhoids. Or, no. Tapes Harry's glasses back together. First spell first spell used in the fucking thing. Dumb. Horrible. I'm gonna watch that franchise after this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember I was I was watching uh Harry Potter. Or I was reading the first book years and years and years ago, and I never finished it. I stopped like three quarters of the way through for some reason. Um I think I had like reading assignments I had to get done. I picked it up like a month or two later and I think a, a token of good writing is you open it up and you know exactly where you were. Like that's that's saying something, I think. Oh man, that the story I, I stuck with bookmarked. you. It was bookmarked. I didn't remember the page number. I'm saying what you just open, you're like, ah oh, yes. This was it. Close it's it. like it's like anybody researching anything in any movie, like thumb through. Oh, got it. No one can find something do that. This person's never fucking that's done wild. a turn paper in their life. Fucking saved your game in a book. And you're just right there. I can imagine you in school being a little bastard kid. You open it up and there's a fucking Game Boy in there. Uh, <laughs> hollowed out in the pages. Yeah. Yes. Like most movies do with like a Bible and you open it. It's like, a gun. Akimbo. Circle back. Sequel. <laughs> There'll probably be a sequel to that movie. This has been a review of Pitch Black. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Vin Diesel doesn't fuck around this <laughs> this dark movie. Uh, the movie's really fun. Uh, space adventure, sci-fi meets horror. A lot of action. Vin Diesel plays a badass. Uh, the the bio raptors in it, the aliens, look pretty fucking Which, sick. They look by awesome. the way, poor character creation. No, like, I need, like it. We need an anti-hero. Let's get some swim goggles and bald head. Bald oh, head. I thought you were talking about the, the bio raptors. I like their design. Oh, no, yeah, those designs are pretty rad. Um... Yeah, like, well, at least they didn't give him like a cyclops. Are they fucking welding goggles? Data that visor. What they are? They're basically welding goggles. Yeah, basically. Because the sun, hurts his eyes. the sun hurts his eyes. The sun hurts his eyes. Hurts my eyes. So I'm not getting a fucking eye job. <laughs> Sun's fucking. Do you like eye jobs? It's <laughs> <laughs> the worst optometrist commercial of all time. Is the sun fucking you? Get an eye job. <laughs> That's dope. Dude, I'm sensitive to, like, bright lights, too. Like, I wear sunglasses all the time. I just hate going outside. <laughs> the public in, in a hole. <laughs> Leave me in my cave. Except for our killer fans. We love we love you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Convincing. Convincing. What would you rate this film? It's a tough rating. Honestly. I love how I, I asked you to rate it, and you just shake your head no. It's a tough <laughs> it's like, rating, man. It's like that, it's like that Watchmen season. quote, you know. One day, they're going to ask us for help. And I'll whisper, no. <laughs> what did you rate this? Help me. Um, no. No. 
Um, it's tough because this view, I feel like it didn't hold up. But it also does in a way. Like the last half was so badass. But that 55 minutes of nothing besides seeing some. They could have quickened. The intro was fine. The intro got your attention. But then yes. they're just wandering around trying to figure out what barren landscape they're in. Yeah. And you, it's this cat and mouse game where like Riddick's always like Bugs Bunny and, yeah, and like everybody's checking like, everybody out. I think he's dangerous. No, it's only dangerous to humans. Dumb fucking he's quote. killed before. He's killed before. Oh my god, let's just let's, let's let him wander around. Why do they let him? No, that doesn't, doesn't make sense. sense for 55 minutes and then shit goes south and they all need for him. another like they 55 need the badass minutes. killer. Yeah, right. It's pretty cool. I hate the ending though because like I actually liked the the pilot who makes a mistake and then redeems herself, right? It was ultimately a good person. Yeah, I love how everyone's flawed in this. Everyone has like their come up. There's yeah. no which she was great people. in this. She was great. And Silent Hill. And she was great in Silent and Hill. And her she was. And her in and, and Vinny Delight were a good combo. But like I don't like the ending where I just it doesn't make sense. They both redeemed themselves, but they're still willing to be jackasses in like who died. Yeah, she had to prove herself know. like, oops, I almost killed the entire crew. But you know what? Let's go back and save two people. I don't know. Which are in the sequels, I guess. Are they? Yeah. Um, yeah, Jack is, right? Who's Jack? The yeah, yeah, is. Um, the priest? Is he a priest? I'm just thinking of, oh my God. You said, who's Jack? And all I can think of is, is fucking... Ron Williams? No, Smee and Hook. Close. Oh. Smee, Smee. Who's Smee? What about Smee? me? Smee, Smee. <laughs> um, Give him the hook, the hook, the hook. Give him the hook, the hook. The... I fucking love Hook. When I think... This Peter, first came out. You've become a pirate. <laughs> I am a child. Um, that that was bad, actually. I would have gave this a four a long time ago. And the children were screaming. <laughs> you Lisa? Lisa. <laughs> Liza. It's snowing. Said that. <laughs> Slams the fucking door. That's my favorite part. That's yeah. the best, best part. It's snowing. Slam. <laughs> oh, God. I uh, found your marbles. The really fact, did lose his marbles. The fact that Spielberg is ashamed of that movie. What the it's fuck bullshit. is bullshit. It's not even on Spielberg's it's documentary. It's one of his best films. There's a four-hour so documentary on the man. It is amazing. And he talks about everything. It's even amazing. Even night 1491 or Dude, 18. Dude, Rob Williams got some nice legs. I'm saying those tights. Yeah, he's in Popeyes. That has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> the, the guy with giant forearms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he ate spinach. But yeah, he's ashamed of that movie. It's it's so stupid. Even in Ron Williams' documentary, there's not even anything on Hook. What the hell? On both sides. I don't understand. Stupid. Whatever. Anyways. The rating. Rating for pitch I would have gave this a four long time vote <laughs> ago. <laughs> we better end this fucking thing fast. The wheels are falling off so fast. It's going downhill. Dude, we've been on rims for a long time. Yeah, no. I will say this is probably a three and a half families out of five. With That's fair. a side of a dozen sequels that could be made, I guess. This should have been a longer franchise. Is this still the rating? <laughs> We're still describing Long ass. It's just going to fill up the screen. No, um, this, it turned into a franchise, comics, all this shit, but... I'm surprised it didn't go farther in with movies. Even though it just, it tests me to how hard uh, Vin Diesel worked with this because he 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 forced this not so great thing into a success. So yeah. you know, good for him. You know what? The dude that wrote this, what's his name again? Johnny Tran or no? That's the fucking, Johnny Tran. Yeah, that's the Asian from Fast and Furious. My what bad. The my bad. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna. It's like Ken and Jeff. It. Bacon or uh, something? Tuohy directed it and into the screenplay. Jim and Ken Wheat. Oh, the screenplay guy that you just named that I don't remember. So that guy <sighs> put in a script. You for... asked me a question and then tell me, <laughs> sorry, I wasn't listening at all. He put in a script for uh, Alien 3. And they yeah, actually used. Tuohy. Yeah. Not the script, but his Twelto's. idea. They used his idea. Yeah, his idea. Yeah. And yeah. there's even a Riddick lookalike in Alien 3. Crazy. Maybe you're right. He likes bald people. And so it's true. Yeah, Jane. It's true. 
Where are you from? Dude, I feel like there's so much aliens in this movie. Oh, yeah, for sure. So yeah, much. Heavily influenced. Like, even yeah. alien, but, like, because it's, like, Dude. a crew, I feel like more aliens. I want yeah. Riddick to join the Starship Troopers. He would fight with Rico so much. Rico would not have him on the team. He could be with fucking Zim. Invader Zim? No, Zim got the, the bug. The cartoon? Zim got the bug. The movie's awesome. We covered it. Kingsguild.com. It's true. Is that on YouTube or no? I don't know if that was a film. I can't one. remember. I don't remember. We have to like revisit our whole first season. We should reboot the franchise. A redo. Redo. Oh my god. Yeah, of old episodes. Especially the first one. Yikes. I don't know. I love how Spotify automatically puts all of our listeners to our shitty ass first episode that sounds it's like horrible. dog shit. It's just us asking what we're doing. I hate it. We're like Hello? <laughs> what, are you, what are you asking me? What is the... <laughs> what? It's in the computer? <laughs> Where are the files? Uh, this movie's fun. It's worth, it's worth a watch. It's definitely worth a watch. Yeah. I only knocked it down because, I don't know, I think I got too bugged with, like, whoever did the lighting. If you guys... Because it's fucking... Luckily, atrocious. our lighting looks great thanks to massive visual it's media. It's true. There's, like, five lights in here. <laughs> Brian, thanks for being part of this, man. We appreciate you. Yeah, thanks for inviting me back again. Hell yeah. Um, if if you haven't checked out this movie, we'll put a link down in the description. You can check it out. Super easy. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. You're, you're terrifying the people. That is not a hey. welcoming. Hey. hey. Uh, news, what we got? So a couple weeks ago, maybe a month, could have been a year, uh, I talked about there's the new Adam's Family movie coming out. There's a new Adam Sandler coming out? Yeah, it's like set 25 years. Are we doing live years, action? Live action really? set 25 years I, after. I love the live action. It's called Adam's Wednesday. Family. Okay. And I don't I don't remember the actor's name or actress's name that's playing gonna Wednesday. they going to bring back Christina Ricci. <laughs> She's back. Yeah. As a different character. Oh. And not Wednesday. Mm. Cool. That's a slap in the fucking face. A little bit. Maybe the ass. Who knows? But, um, yeah, that's all I got. Wednesday, there's no release date. I think it's a Netflix thing, too. So that's stupid. Sick of these Netflix things. They always get me so excited, and then you realize, oh, it is Netflix. I just spent two whole weeks watching this great show called Good Girls. Don't even fucking start. It's about robbing shady shit gangsters. It's really cool. Jessica Chastain is in it. Wow. And... um, (laughs) Viewership just drops. <laughs> um, no, it's a great show. Four seasons, cliffhanger. They canceled it. Damn. I was so fucking That does mad. suck. And I wasn't told it was canceled until I was like two seasons in. Might get a reboot. If it gets a reboot, I'm in. But it just got canceled. <laughs> we got some horror trivia. What is the trivia? But 1960s gothic television soap opera depicted the lives of a wealthy Collins family was remade into a film starring Johnny Depp. Edward. Not Edward Scissorhand. I'm, I'm going to say what we do in the shadows, I'm assuming. No. You're wrong. You say Edward Scissorhand? Let's see. Wait, is Johnny Depp in it? It's Dark Shadows. I was close. That's what I meant. Yes. Yeah, starring Johnny Depp means Johnny Depp is in the fucking movie. John Depp <laughs> is in this movie. <laughs> I've never even heard. Oh. Horror trivia is the worst segment of the episode. Is is that new? That Dark Waters, the new movie? Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows. It's a couple years old. Dumb. <laughs> never seen it. I never watched it. What we do in the shadows. That threw me off so much. Well, that's that's like a comedy, I think. Yeah. Isn't it a vampire comedy? Yeah. yeah it's they both super are. Funny. All of them are. They might it's all, really funny. They might all be love, the same thing. I'm not the sure. The show's good, but I love the movie more. Yeah. Because not the, not all the cast is in the TV show from the movie. Speaking of loving a movie, what next week? You gonna try to guess what we got again? You said loving a movie, yeah, and I have to guess. Is do you it want teeth? a hint? No. Okay. Do Do you want a hint, or are you just gonna shout out thinking loving is the only hint you get? Because <laughs> I didn't mean that to be an innuendo. Um. Yeah. Let me guess. Do you want a hint? Yeah, I want a hint. I meant. Let me hit that. 
Give me a hit. Cannibalism. Cannibal Holocaust. Nope. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Green Inferno. A epic film. Interstellar. Could be cannibalism off screen. Who knows? When Jarvis you- probably a Matthew McConaughey. Isn't Jarvis the Iron Man? Oh, yeah. Computer system? <laughs> well, who the fuck is in Interstellar? No. Tars. Come on, Tars. Yeah. Don't let me Tars leave, Murph. Funny. Don't let me leave, Murph. He tells Tars to take it down a notch to like 80%. I Murph. wish Matthew McConaughey was driving a Lincoln during <laughs> Interstellar. When he's trying to get the drone, he's stuff. just in his head. There's inner monologue. <laughs> It's the commercial. <laughs> Tie everything in. That's awesome. I'm going to make that happen. What if instead of cannibalism, I just said cannibal? Is that a Hannibal? The Silence of the Lambs? The Silence Fuck yeah. of the Lambs. Wild. Not Interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. Close. Uh, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate you. Don't it's a forget big one. to visit. It is a very big one. Heavy scared. <laughs> we'll try to give it some respect. I uh, absolutely love that movie. I'm excited to cover it, guys. Thank you so much for for watching us. Uh, whether you're checking us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or YouTube, we appreciate you. Um, don't forget you can visit all of our backlog catalogs at kingskill.com where you can request an episode absolutely for free. While you're there, do us a huge favor. Do a little shop, make a little donation, help the show go. We really appreciate it. Follows on social media. And a big thanks to Massa Visual Media. Yeah. We're hooking us up today. BMA. Hey, there he is, little cutie pie. All right. You guys, thank you so much. What, are you okay? Your face is very Yes, concerned. I'm ready. <laughs> it's like sweating and nervous. I want to watch Silence of the Lamps. My, the, the Silence of the Lamps? The, yeah. <laughs> Puts the lotion on the lampshade. Let's just fucking... Right. Fucking Ed Gain over here. Jesus. Dope. Guys, Good thank man. you so much for listening. My name is Zach. I'm Steven. And together we are. King. The, this whole show. We went fast, <laughs> so I went fast. What the fuck? God. <laughs> you just so perturbed. Just I'm just like, waiting for you. Just, like, <laughs> just sitting back there. We are on the King's... <laughs> Kings of Kill. Kill. Bye, everybody. (laughs)